What's good, fam? Currently in the garage right now. You see my car is all in jack stand. The whole garage car is all in pieces and a mess. I apologize. Um, I'm actually doing like two, three videos all at once since I have my car up. So if you haven't catched up on right there or haven't seen it, I'll link up in the below. Um, well, I linked up top or below. Just you know, suspension refresh and exhaust install. But today's video is gonna be this part right here. I have on the table. Um, I got this from overseas. Uh, Japan it's actually it's gonna be a very simple install so I decided since I am at a standby right now waiting for some car parts to come in I might as well just do this video and install this right now um, most of you probably have it um, some of you don't um, it's actually a very simple piece um, I think it's gonna be useful that I got this from overseas in Japan and you guys can get some in here but this is an old one so it doesn't come with it but basically it's the uh, OEM option for the armrest. I guess it comes in 02 and up, um, um, I think. I'll confirm that, but this one is the Alteza version. It's the cloth one. One of the reasons why I kind of went with this version anyway is because it was a lot cheaper. I basically paid for the product and shipped to me from Japan directly for way much cheaper than some people out here ask for them. And on top of that, it comes with the whole bracket, like everything I needed. I'll just reuse my bolts in there. So I'm, I'm happy about that. Now, the only thing is some people might say, why don't you get the, uh, try to get the leather version instead of the cloth? Well, I, it doesn't really bother me. I mean, most of the car is cloth anyway, but worst case down the line, when I want to change it up, when I redo the door panel, I'll just rewrap the armrest. So let me put you guys on the tripod and show you guys how it is. This right here comes in pretty good condition. Super simple. Literally just the armrest. Uh, could use a little bit of cleaning for the fabric wise, but other than that, it comes with the whole bracket and little tray thingy. So all I have to do is literally just take off the old one, bolt the four bolts down, and then there's two more in here, and then that's it. So like I said, super, super e easy install. After a while driving it, I kind of like having an armrest there. So, And I don't really use the little cubby thing much anyway, just because it's, it's small, so it doesn't bother me enough. I got some Adams cleaner, interior cleaner. Spray a little bit, scrub it down. It doesn't have to be too clean, but just a little bit better. I, you probably can't tell, there's a little bit of stain here, but overall, it's actually really good condition. So, a little spray a little bit. Since I saw it was a bunch of blacks coming off of it, I'm decided to use this instead. We're gonna use Adam's cleaner and this to suction out most of it right now. So, well, might as well. I have the machine. Look at the towel here. It's, you know. So yeah, it was actually pretty dirty. I dirty. I'm kind of glad I cleaned it. I mean. I can't really get it super clean because I don't have the tools for it, but it's a lot better than before. And the center console off is pretty easy if you've never done it before. It's basically there's, you take out this trim right here to get to one or two bolts right there to get bolts. And then you have two on the side right here. And then you have two right here and then take this part off and pull it up. And you should be able to kind of finesse it out. It sounds very vague, but like you'll figure it out when you look around. But Just like that. You have this one plug for the cigarette port and then you can pull it out. So I skipped all the boring parts of taking the center console apart. I took off my new armrest apart too because you need to take, since from mine was already on there, you need to get this new bracket that you have. Essentially, take off all the middle part right here. I mean, super easy. Uh, four bolts and then there's a two bolts for the slider and then you do the bracket On the bottom up here You just kind of push down or pinch down to slide out and then you get to that metal bracket, but basically it's self-explanatory Take this out. Now you have the new bracket here <laughs> Put it here You put this metal back bracket back on now essentially this is what's gonna look like your new cubby you're just missing the tab because you don't have the little, there's a little part anymore. This part would be mounting the bracket here onto the car. 
since this bracket is not meant for this car and depending on the model the car right here sometimes has a little velcro like i don't know if you can see this part i'm pointing out oh it's below here but some of them has a velcro some of them is like this but essentially you take off this bracket here and using these two mounting brackets and then there's like a if you're able to if you want to cut or able to rip this um, peel it apart there's two little holes cover up for two more 10 mils here so what I'm gonna do for this part since I don't have extra bolts and I don't want to cut through this I'm just gonna use these mounting uh, two mounting 10 mil brackets and hopefully it'll be sturdy enough since the whole console itself is gonna be on top of it too hopefully that will whatever if I have another problem I'll come back and cut this and then do the two more bolts but essentially I'm just going to reuse uh, use the two rear right here and we'll go from there. I mean, honestly, it's pretty sturdy. So you don't really need to do this. Like, I mean, that's not coming off. So we're going to put the center console on top right now. You do lose a cigarette lighter port, which is okay with me um there's this little tab thing i guess to support or a drink or something like that it's also a cup holder i'm not too sure but i took that out just in case later on i can do a mod for the cig cigarette lighter plug thing if i need it here You won't see the this part anyway with this puzzle is this right here that I just like that. You have functional armrest. I've I've used the armrest for about a week now, so I can definitely say for all my old one owners 2001 owners please get the armrest it's worth it now i think it's from o2 and up they actually added the uh, armrest i think for the usd version um it's like the leather one now this is the fabric one from this is the alteza version but still the same thing definitely worth it recommend getting it now it's not like fully perfect i mean it's but it's like i mean I'm used to having an armrest on all my cars, so in the beginning I thought, you know what, I can deal with it and I'll be alright. But honestly, after having this and using it for a bit, I'm glad I did it because now I'm like, oh yeah, you definitely need this. I mean, like my arm is just chilling right here. Before I would be like, you know, like this right now. I'm trying to drive and, and talk in the video too. So if you've been thinking about doing it, please do. Uh, do your research. For your car and look around there's always people selling the armrest price varies you know i think i would say average from what people are selling around is about a hundred bucks at least and up so probably the only like one or two cons i have is i don't know you can see let me put it down the cup i mean it's a mix of the armrest and the cup holder of design of this car the cup holder here of this car is just it sucks it just sucks and um, I have this here to show you guys like a visual. Um, my armrest hits on this. If I don't put this, it goes a little bit lower, but essentially I can't have like a big drink like, on the last cup holder because it'll just like, it'll hit it. And of course this cup holder for all my IS300 owners who use it, it freaking sucks. So, I mean, of course there's mods for it and then there's a little divider to hold it in place. But I mean, I can see why the previous owner kind of spilt everywhere basically. But overall, this is kind of like my only like con mainly. I mean, besides the, uh, you can't really use this port anymore. And I don't have a cigarette lighter port anymore, but that's like, all this can be changeable and modded. But like that, let me see, it's just like, just kind of it's just placement overall so, so hopefully by the time he's watching this video I will be on vacation I'm going back to my favorite place on earth some of you guys might know some of you guys might not so I'm going to try to do semi daily vlogs every two three days vlog so hopefully if you guys been checking for that check on that uh, I want to know 
I'm going back to Japan, baby. Going back to Japan. I'm excited. Uh, a lot different because I'm going to be mainly solo, riding solo, doing everything. I'm just going to be chilling, hanging out, just kind of living the life over there for a bit. Well, now let me try to drive without uh, getting to a wreck. Like always, thank you for watching. Till next time, deuces. So.